Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely two balloon flower. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks and this is the first video I've made since I've injured my hand. So we'll see how things go. So you're just going to need two 260 twisting balloons and the balloon that you use for the flower, uh, just stretch it out. So pinch hold of the tip end and just run it between your fingers and stretch that out. So sometimes I forget to do this, so it's always a good idea to do it at the beginning. So now your green balloon, and I'm going to inflate this almost to the end. So that was eight strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. I'm just going to let a little bit of air out just to soften the balloon. And because of the difficulties with my thumb at the minute, I've actually had to adapt my tying technique. I can tie right-handed and I can tie left-handed as well. But at the moment, the thumb has um, kind of scuppered both of those. So I am doing something different. Uh, which you don't need to learn, just use your, your own tying technique. Uh, but this is something I've come up with really just as an interim measure to get me through this difficult spot. Okay, just give your balloon a squeeze. So we've got a little tail of just a couple of fingers. And then we're going to make some loops of about four fingers. So I've just folded the balloon over. I've got hold of that knot and nozzle in my other hand, and I'm just going to rotate the balloon and twist it round a few times. And then you can pass the knot and nozzle through the center of that loop, and that's going to help ensure that loop doesn't come undone. Okay, we're going to make another loop of about the same size. So again, about four fingers, and twist that around. It needs to be very close in size, and I am a little bit out of practice, as you can imagine. Okay, so give your balloon a squeeze to send the air to the tip and then just make another loop of about four fingers. If they're not, if these loops aren't exactly the same size, don't worry. It's not critical. Close is good enough. Okay, and we're fully inflated at this end. So take your other balloon and we're going to inflate this most of the way. So I've inflated that uh, with about eight strokes of the Qualitex hand pump and to a four finger tail. Again, I'm just going to let some air out to soften that. I'm going to do my rather strange tying technique. <laughs> and okay. It's amazing how versatile we are when adversity strikes and we find other ways of doing things. So one thing you could do, um, you can actually tie these two balloons together so you could minimize the knot. I'm struggling with that at the moment. So what I'm going to do instead is just wrap that knot and nozzle into these three loops here to secure that in place. Okay, give your balloon a little squeeze. And I'm going to make a bubble that is about the span of my hand, the width of my hand, so four inches or so. So I, I tend to remember that the um, average um, width of a hand is four inches because um, we measure horses in hands and uh, uh, you're measuring a horse in hands, that's four inches for each hand. So mine's actually a little bit smaller, but we won't worry about that too much. Okay, and then twist another bubble, and that's cut sized to a couple of fingers. And we're going to pinch twist this, okay? So I'm going to, I'm grabbing hold of this pinch twist. I'm pulling it upwards and twisting it around in one direction. So you can twist around several times, and that will just hold in place. So if you're finding that your pinch twist is unraveling, you may have squeezed too much out, air out of the balloon. You may have over softened the balloon and squeezed your balloon a little bit too much. So we want it soft, but there needs to be enough pressure, enough resistance here to hold that pinch twist. And if you want to know more about pinch twists, I actually brought out a video just recently 
uh, just very specifically on pinch twists. Because I wasn't able to uh, film, I had a video on my channel that was a private video and I, I published that and it's just focused on pinch twists and um, helping you guide you through um, the do's and don'ts of pinch twists. It does look like it's a three-year-old video, but actually I only brought that out a couple of weeks ago. It's just the fact that it was already on my channel um, and, and just uh, a private video. That's why it looks like it's an old one. So I've made another bubble here, which is about two fingers. We're going to pinch twist this one. You'll be experts at pinch twisting by the end of doing this design. So just grab hold of the pinch twist, pull it upwards and twist it round. I know it seems a little brutal <laughs> if you're not used to doing this, but it's a really great technique to learn and will enable you to do so much more with your designs. So we've still got a nice long tail at the end, so squeeze the balloon to uh, soften it and just make one more bubble of the same sort of size. And yes, we're going to pinch twist this as well. So again, pull it upwards and round. Oop. I'm just going to finish that off with my left hand. Okay. okay, so that's what we've got. This is feeling a little bit firm here, so I'm just going to give it a squeeze and send some of the air to the tip. So this is kind of your expansion chamber. You need to manage the air within the balloon and make sure that it's not getting too firm, too tight here, and send the air towards the little tip here okay because so if you don't do that uh, there's more risk of the balloon popping we want to make a bubble to match this one so just line your balloon up against the other bubble and twist and then pull that twist into those green loops there and wrap it around a couple of times just to secure that okay so this is what we've got Okay, so give everything a squeeze and a stretch. And then we're going to loop the balloon around the uh, two upright bubbles. Okay, so just loop it around like this. And then pull that into the flower petal loops, the leaves of the base. Okay. So this is what you've got. I'm going to just pull everything forward a little. So you can even pull these upwards a little bit into this loop. And then with what's left, I'm going to loop that over and I'm going to wrap that tip into the base here. Position that second loop in front of the flower. So this is the front face of the flower. You've got your loop going round, so that's how you want it to be. And then just pull that over the top and pressure fit it there. Okay, so make sure you've got the start, these two, this loop coming up from in front of the flower and going around. So that's what you've got. So you can make a few more of those and we can combine them into a bouquet. So we're just going to make a very uh, simple way of connecting these um, flowers together. First of all, you're just going to need a 260 and tie that in a knot if you can. Easier said than done for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to tie that in a knot. There we go. Managed it. Hurrah. <laughs> Even the simplest things now are <laughs> great triumphs. So you've got this, um, basically it's, it's like a rubber band. You suppose you could use a rubber band if you've got one big enough. Just put the rubber band or the 260 over the end of the flowers and then you can put more flowers in there. If you've got a really big bouquet then just tie two 260s together to give yourself a bigger uh, rubber band.
And this is the last one I've got for my bouquet. So I just want to arrange them so they're all facing in the same direction. Okie dokie. And then we could create a very simple uh, ribbon to go around the stems. For that, I've got a 160 and I'm just going to stretch that out in the same way I did the 260 for the uh, flowers. And then I'm going to inflate this almost all the way. So I've left a tail of maybe two fingers, let a little bit of air out and tie. Okay. And then I'm just going to make a very small bubble couple of fingers and then I'm going to wrap that 160 around my stems and because we've got that 260 band cinching everything together they're all staying where they need to be so just wrap that little bubble around your 260 sorry around the 160 bring that 160 back around the back Let's stretch it out a little bit just to soften it and make it a little bit longer. Okay, so we're just wrapping that around and then wrap that 160 into that bubble and wrap your 160 round again. And as luck would have it, that little tip is just right at the point where your bubble is and we can just wrap that around okay now this little bubble we can pinch twist this just to tidy this up okay so I'm just going to take hold of that uh, knot and pull that bubble upwards twist it around and then take that knot and nozzle and just wrap it through that section there and then I'm going to cover this green band here this green 260 so that it's out of sight and arrange everything so they look as good as they possibly can and that usually takes me a few minutes so I really hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you will give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, things are a little bit tricky at the moment, so I don't know how often I'll be bringing out my videos, so do keep a check on the channel. And if you have been missing me, then do check my uh, website. I've got uh, some premium tutorials available through the website. There are links in the description below and links in the uh, bio on my uh, homepage of my channel. And I do have, I think, well over 300 videos available. So if you're not immediately seeing uh, what you want to make, then by all means, um, drop me a message on one of the posts on my community tab and ask, you know, have I made whatever, a snail, a butterfly, whatever it is, and I can direct you to the videos on my channel. So uh, I hope to hear from you. I hope you're all keeping well and um, thumbs up.